Snow Delivery, a horror RPG set in a haunted pizzeria. I played the spiritual, uh, predecessor to this game one night at the Steez late last year, but never ended up playing this one. Until now. Ah, uh, Filter. I think a lot like Death Road to Canada, the filter might add something to the experience, but it's a little much, so I'll just keep it off. And yes, when I said Haunted Pizzeria, it, it it's not FNAF. Okay, it's a little FNAF, which is literally the exact same thing that I said in One Night of the Steez. It's way more haunted house than it is like a 80s slasher feature, featuring animatronics. Though there are animatronics in this game, make no mistake on that. <laughs> the inspiration is there. And with that uh, last screen there, it is... This, this is a an RPG Maker game, at least I think it is, but it's more of an RPG Maker game by the way of Darkest Dungeon than Final Fantasy. <laughs> you you have character permadeath, you have randomized dungeons, and in fact, like a lot of the gameplay is just to walk down a hallway, interact with a thing. Yeah, Thick Cross is my preferred. Uh, interact with a thing, rinse and repeat until you finish whatever the quest that you're on is. Get the meme answers. Get the real meme answers. Ah, uh, pepperoni. Yeah, if you saw uh, One Night at the Steez, uh, you might recognize the character on screen right now. Kind of uh, the manager, kind of fulfilling the same role. Or, well, I suppose we don't know that just yet, considering how that game shook out. Yep, regular old pepperoni. That's good, because that's what I ordered. Yes, that's right. Did, did, did you get the game's title? <laughs> the, when, when I was originally checking out this game in the beta, they didn't have this opening cutscene. I think it's kind of hokey. But then again, this is a very hokey game. <laughs> oh, and when I was comparing it to Darkest Dungeon, it is not nearly as long or even as mechanically complex. You're usually only controlling one character, and there's a pretty limited amount of areas and stuff to do. So don't expect this to be quite the size of that game. But what am I lacking content? It really does make up for in style. I love the idea of uh, haunted pizzeria. <laughs> and boy, does this game really go with it. Look at this. But yeah, if there's one thing that you can really, really interest me in when it comes to a game, it's just weird settings or theming or anything like that. I love me a game that takes one, like, a uh, kind of questionable theme. I mean, this cer certainly is not kind of faux fantasy medieval times, I'll say that. And I think these are all your basic stats, too. Though, again, not that it really matters. This game is not super difficult or anything. Yep, and by Pizzeria, like I said, there's going to be animatronics, there's going to be arcade games, there's going to be a ball pit. Every and anything. Yes. <laughs> In other words, these are your dungeons. And despite the fact that this is a horror game, you really don't get, like, any jump scares. It's all about creating mood more than anything. Which they start out with right off the bat here. Nope, not not doing anything with that, am I? So this first one, I am going to be... So for this first episode, I am going to be, um... Man, this guy's terrible. He, he literally has no skills. But he is the tutorial dude. Anyway, do I have... Access cancel menu, and then shift, I guess, is run. But yeah, for this first episode, I'm going to be doing live commentary for subsequent ones. You know, due to the fact that this is like a... a... Great. <laughs> due to the fact that this is like a uh, turn-based RPG, I'm probably going to have it way more edited down. There's a lot of uh, neat stuff in this game, but I mean, much like Darkest Dungeon, actually, it is very... It is a lot of very similar things, so 
I think this uh, this is a series that will benefit a lot from like uh, a heavy editing hand, much like Persona Five, for example. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> he literally has no skills. He can't even attack. Right. Wow. Wow. It's just the worst, aren't you? So it is actually possible, or at least it was pro possible in previous versions of the game to actually manage to survive this by running away from everything. But uh, then you would be left with an employee that has no skills and no health and no stats. He's not good. I think that was patched out of the beta now. By the way, you like lore? This game's got lore. That's actually maybe more than anything else that I... Maybe more than any other reason why I wanted to cover this game. Because I just want to do, like, weird speculation and stuff. It's fun. Awesome. Got the mascot. I think there are four characters that you can get. Uh, a waitress, a delivery boy. Yeah, no, that's not... That's not... Like, you're already going against the title of your game. <laughs> English as a second language, this dog. But, uh, yeah, already going to, uh, already, like, uh, ruining the title of the game, but then there's also stuff like, oh, I suppose I should probably check everything here. Mascot, which is a dog, and, like, security guard, which is a guy who can actually carry around a gun. Chill. Sure, that's nice. I mean, I got no items. I do have a couple skills this time. Wambo combo? I don't think... Oh, come on now. Yeah, I already saw that one. As you can see, it's like even even the dog has more health than that last guy. There's a number of different areas to be going. Some of them are just like little tiny dungeons to be like entered once. But a lot of them are dungeons with like a... I think it's like specifically two levels of... Of, like, stuff to do, like your basic quest and then, like, a more important quest where you get, like, some sort of good item. See, I'll probably be checking out each one of the, each one of the various characters that, that you can play as. So, does that mean that, uh, this dog is probably not long for this world? Well, well. <laughs> Gotta get that garbage. And yeah, give me eight buckaroonies. I think you had to do that like individually in one night at the Steez. But hey, it's good to know that uh, the garbage monster is still here. Ready to give me uh, cash for trash. That's my new business. Get one dish along with that. I suppose I probably should buy it because I'm going to need to heal at some point. And yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw that. That was just that present that I that I fought earlier. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. As it is, I feel like uh, maybe pulling up some sort of soft object would result in perhaps a tongue from a thing. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave that guy alone. You just uh you just keep vibing there, my dude. Well, I mean the thing is, it's like right now, there is hey, nice. Unfortunately, not a delivery boy. Mascot. <laughs> Which 
I feel like, you know, this might be some sort of health violation to have a dog just in the premises at all points in time, including, like, the bathroom, uh, messing around with folding stools, but... Then again, look at everything else going on here. I do believe that, yeah, if I go in here, then there was a place that I could set the stool, but I won't. I want to go check out that vent first. Hey, man, free folding stool. I'm not just going to suddenly use that the first the second that I can. Yeah, it's probably fine. Look, I just stuck my hand down a, a toilet. I think that it's like this sort of... No, just keep going. Okay, maybe a little... Just kind of scroll that guy off screen. That was a dude from One Night at the Steez. Uh, he was one of the bosses. And also, he's just, you know... Listening to the, the, what's going on on the other side of the wall, I guess. Got out of the room from before, <laughs> I suppose. I mean, that, that nice thing, I suppose, is just a uh, HP restore, which can't say that's not valuable. Yeah, yeah, well, you work in the night shift. Here's the thing, you might think, hey, that's weird that, you know, you can't, um, that you can't leave, uh, the premises at night, but that's actually totally normal for a night shift type of deal. It's not to lock you out, it's to lock other people in. In fact, I think later in the game you can literally just leave, you do get into the parking lot, but you don't leave because you're, you're on duty. In a haunted pizzeria? I, yeah, well, it's hard to get a, hard to get an hourly position sometimes. Look, I've, I've worked a lot of different jobs, including, yeah, I still don't like that guy. Including ones where I have been overnight at places. It just happens. And yes, I said this is not a, a FNAF game, and there is clearly a, a Chica poster on the wall, but it's not that much of one. Say yes, substitutes, etc. Sure. All right, and that will be come up later on. Hello? Manuel, I'm your tiger. Oh my god. So I guess the, the whole uh, extended A's is the trademark of the manager. Why not? Great, I don't have to go through the vent. <laughs> By the way, uh, when you get this game, there is a little bit, uh, th there is a uh, like manual that comes with it that does say that eh, you might want to explore the vent a little bit more. But I'm not going to be doing that right now. Instead, I am going to be doing my nightly cleanup. Hey, it's one of the Weird Elmo puppet guys. Did actually appear in One Night at Steez. Except, um... Was way more hostile. So to say. <laughs> yeah, who died, like, literally in the first room that he walked into. He couldn't even run away from an immobile present. Arcade over here, as well as way more stuff to... No.
Let's go deep, but not too deep. And go everywhere, but not actually everywhere. All right, cool. Okay, come on, manager. Come. For real. Okay, no. I guess that one's not actually a thing this time. Ensure stronger employees. Ones that are more able to deal with the trials and tribulations that you're going to find here. It's the zonies. I think this is another one of those things that requires something to clean up. I think that all, all it is is like mops, which are one of your kind of uh, generic, generic deals in the game. I might not want to s sell all of the trash immediately. Maybe go for just like 10. Because I do think that some skills require having trash to, to, to actually like activate. Really now. <laughs> There's another game that uh, the, the developer of this horror notes has put out called Nobody's Home, which it's a very similar sort of style to it, although on a much smaller scale comparatively. And just talking to random objects to find people or just having them talk back is... I don't actually have 10 tickets. And just having them talk back is is a thing you'll see a lot. Man, that is just green. Mountain Dew, I suppose? Okay, come on now. Between that and boneless pizza, I feel like... Uh... Actually, I don't know what. Oh, sweet. Another one. I guess that was another one. There's like delivery boy, waitress, uh, attendant, and I... Mascot, and I know there's security guard. I've been following this game for actually quite a while, uh, since it was in beta. And then when it eventually had a full release, it's like, yeah, I knew I really wanted to play it, because I do love this sort of style, like I said. It's very grungy, and this game does, I think just in general, looks pretty good. And these, I just need razors. Yeah, all right. Great. <laughs> Who would put that in a toilet? That's like the one place that it, the gag does not work at all. <laughs> okay. Huh. Does not surprise me at all. Nah, nothing. Alright, well, and then everything else. It's like, this is just... I, I guess if you have dogs working here, you're probably going to get a lot of hair clogs, aren't you? Anyway, looking through here, that's kind of this entire area done. At least I can until I can get a few uh, mops somewhere. There's still plenty of other areas here. Only open during showtime, which is not going to be happening anytime soon, I guess. And in the first game, yeah, balloons were enemies and a lot friendlier looking, to be honest. This one's way more ominous. Hey, what? <laughs> they had like silly faces and everything. And that dealt way too much damage, by the way. Although it does, I guess it does give you some good stuff for fighting those. It's just... I guess it does give you some good stuff for fighting those. It's just, you know. It also did quite a bit of damage to me, comparatively. 
And I don't think you can just go raid pizza boxes unlike the first game. So what was, uh... Oh, I guess that's why I couldn't get out. All right, then. Oh, man, realistic physics for the balls. This is everything I could have possibly wanted. You can also see, like, entrances into the, the uh, ventilation shafts, much like the first game. And I'm going to guess right now that it probably does not contain nearly... Ah! Wow, you in some pretty rough shape. Uh, do I have ten buckaroonies? Yeah, I should. I think I also got twenty buckaroonies. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, I remember permanent marker, a meaty pen. Please don't describe things as meaty when we're in the we're, when we're in this location. Higher critical chance. And from what I remember, like, making things more likely to be hit, if you get, say, an object that has low accuracy but high damage, such a thing does exist in the game. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, you just steal those. I mean, let's be honest, the kids are probably dead. <laughs> the balloons here attack you. All right, well, I suppose that's pretty much everything I'm going to do, so... Yep. <laughs> well, this was also a dungeon in the first game, too. Though, I don't think it's going to be quite as, uh... Man, this is a big one, too, isn't it? Uh, although, I don't think it's going to be quite as, um... God, you might as well. <laughs> Friendly. Like, there was a big, goofy-looking um, dinosaur puppet in the first game in the ball pits. Hey, this one didn't attack me. But yeah, you can see exactly what I'm talking about with, like, the Darkest Dungeon style. It is, it is so similar. Why is, there, why is the danger so high right now? All right. Good. Now all the damage that I took fighting that balloon should have been undone, I think? Yeah, like, I got three pips of danger. That's danger into the red. I, yeah, I don't know. Can I just, like, walk? Nope. <laughs> Very similar to the, uh, the enemy that, well, the, like, creature that I encountered before. Got that vapor wave music in the background. Really? How does that miss? Oh, wow. Ah, uh, maybe the mascot might be going down, like, right now. I mean, I'm glad I kept all that trash, then, if nothing else. Tart. Uh, was that? <laughs> I mean, I'll take basically anything. Uh, it comes with two tickets for stores health. Sure. You do. You can eventually get like other people partnering up with you, which is why. Well, it's also built off the RPG <laughs> Maker engine, so you know. I don't think I have a broom. Also, I just healed, so that's not really going to be helpful at all. Oh, man, I can't find any more of these things. How much? I didn't even check to see how much health it um, it healed. All right, we got a whack-a-mole game. Why not? Uh, yellow? G yes, good. Remember, when characters do die in this game, they're done. So... <laughs> this presentation here is like... I... This is literally like the same box from Earthbound, but uh, so much more sinister. Okay, good. Food is healing, and I do need as much healing as I can possibly get. But yeah, there are other um, are, like party members that you can get in the game... 
but I don't think I'm going to be seeing any one of them right now. Okay, so last time I went with the right one, fighting the yellow ball, green ball? Bop? That's a little bit less um, threatening than I thought it was going to be. All right, I guess uh, I guess not nearly as as bad as the minor aspect and or uh, potentially larger aspects than that version of the the ball pit monster. Let's just keep fighting these guys. Why was like the, the why is my first fine? Let's just go for all three. Why is my first day on the job uh, going up against what appears to be one of the tougher areas that you can get into? From what I remember, I, I thought like the first time that you went into the, there we go, of course. I thought like the first time you went into one of the uh, the wrong turns, the dungeon areas, that it wouldn't be so threatening. Not that I think I I am too likely to die at this point. It's still, you know. Oh man, I mean I can see the stuff, but it doesn't look like there's any way to get around all of them. Yeah, just give me that stuff, and then how how am I doing on health right now? Fourteen of twenty. Uh, just yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be able to get around every one of these. I guess only some of them actually attack you, which is clever, <laughs> clever on the part of horror and notes. All right, I've been I've been way too too uh, uh, risky when it comes to looking at every one of these things so far. I'm just going to skip one. Oh, great. Oh, that's, that's not good at all. Can I get Naja on there? Five is pretty bad. I'm going to Wombo Combo if I can. Yeah. Oh, no. Is it going to try to... That's not good at all. Now I'm marked. I'm just gonna heal right now. If I'm gonna, if I'm about to be uh, hit by a really huge attack, I wasn't really huge. That was pretty huge, though. Yep, let's go wombo combo again. I still have more than enough food to make that happen. Oh man, it's pretty rough though. There's a lot of very rough things here. <laughs> okay, I don't want to escape, but... Wildly inaccurate. Yeah. Yeah, this is not looking good at all. Just keep going. This seems to be the best uh, attack that I have right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That was frightening, but I managed to keep the dog alive for right now. Do need them tickets. Gotta go rescue that one guy. Please don't be like an actual boss fight. That looks like an actual boss fight. Oh, I'm doomed. <laughs> like, I was... Ah. Uh, hmm. Back in Aspect is also a pretty big buff, so... Well, hey, at least we'll get to see one of the, um... One of the different types of characters around here, because this ain't gonna happen. With everything getting buffed up here, too. Oh, great. It also can heal itself, too. Uh, fantastic. I, hmm. Hmm. Come on. I can at least take out one of the ball pit monsters. <laughs> no, this is not going to work at all. I mean... Maybe? No. <laughs>
Uh, yep. Well, man. <laughs> Hey, 50 bucks, though. <laughs> uh, well, next time I'm going to pick right back up with the delivery boy, I guess. As I'll try to... A six finger gives him... And fear level terrified? I don't really know what difference that makes exactly, but it doesn't seem like a good one. Well, anyway, next time I'm going to pick up back up with the delivery boy, which should not be possible in this game. <laughs>